I why don't you give some publicity to this book, Lynn Lundquist. His name doesn't even appear on the original cover because at the time he didn't want the prejudice against who his, his identity to color the reception of the book. He, Lynn Lundquist was never a Jehovah's Witness, but studying with them in the Pacific Northwest and getting to know them better and seeing their zeal and their devotion to God's name, he was motivated as a lay Christian to devote many months of his life, it looks like years actually when you read the whole book, years to this project, the Tetragrammaton and the Christian Greek Scriptures. Now this book is available for free. You can get a free copy of it, PDF, from archive.org and also from the website that Lundquist was involved in called tetragrammaton.org. So if you want to know more about him, go to tetragrammaton.org and get the copy of the PDF from archive.org. He was hoping to get an ear because the congregation he was associated with and attending the meetings of, it appears, for some time in the 1990s, the, the brothers, the elders that he was studying with, seemed quite friendly to the idea that he would do this kind of research about something that was very dear to them. And as a result, he, his goal, his immediate goal, was to self-publish the book, which he did finally, and to give it to the local elders and to send copies to the circuit overseer who he met and to the society to get their criticism of the book. He wanted them to, if necessary, correct any of the factual errors he'd made in researching this book. But it didn't work out the way he hoped. And here's the letter he wrote after he had sent multiple copies to the elders, to the circuit overseer, and to the society itself. This letter he wrote is in the appendix, appendix N at the back of the book. July 18, 1997 sent to the Department Overseer Service Department watched our Bible Track Society in Patterson, New York. To the Service Department Overseer, this letter is in regard to my June 5, 1997 request to the congregation, he doesn't name the congregation here, to the congregation elders for a meeting to review the contents of my book draft entitled The Tetragrammaton and the Christian Greek Scriptures. I was greatly disappointed that I received no response from either the congregation elders or the service department. I am anxious that every detail of this book be accurate in its representation of the textual and historical information regarding the Tetragrammaton and the Christian Greek scriptures. For that reason, I was looking forward to a meeting with the elders which would have given us a chance to evaluate the most current information available on the subject. As I stated in my letter to them, I am prepared to edit or entirely cancel publication of the book if I obtain authentic manuscript information which negates the second and third century material I have used in my book draft. I am puzzled by the lack of any kind of response on your part. I have come to you with an unprecedented offer to bring my published writing into agreement with the best historical information available. Why have you failed to acknowledge my request with even the common courtesy of declining the meeting? Does your lack of response tell me and my readers that you truly have no manuscript evidence that the Tetragrammaton was actually used by the inspired Christian scripture writers? May I again restate my earlier request? If you are aware of any textual or historical information which verifies the Tetragrammaton within the writings of the inspired Christian authors, I would appreciate receiving it from you. In the absence of a timely response from you, I will assume that the Watchtower Society does not possess authentic information confirming the Tetragrammaton in the original Christian writings, and I will proceed with publication of the book. Sincerely yours, Lynn Lundquist. That's the last correspondence in the appendix, so I judge I have to determine that he did not receive a response. So this book is now available for free. It was even published for free at the time. Lundquist met all the expenses for publication himself and has donated the book, 
even from the beginning to public domain so that this information can get out there to all the Jehovah's Witnesses and others who need to hear it. So I want to put this in our basic library for Jehovah's Witnesses. It's, I can't see how it can be done much better. It's uh, over 300 pages and he's got a very good mind because he was uh, an electrician by trade and a lay Christian of, of, of some ability judging by the contents of this book and he did some other publications after this one reached market. So check him out and uh, get the book because I can't see that it won't help your discussions with witnesses about that most precious of their uh, bad, badge doctrines, the name Jehovah, which they have been taught has been taken out of the Christian Greek scriptures. And of course the evidence is, is certainly not there for that. And he goes into an exhaustive analysis of that claim in this book. And by the way, he bends over backwards to be nice to the Watchtower Society. I had a little problem with it myself, being an ex-witness. He is so sweet-tempered and fair about the contribution they have made to making this issue public so that people can think about the name of God, which he thinks, he agrees with them, that the name is should be in the Old Testament, and, of course, that's a different issue. The, the real issue of this book is the, new, the presence or absence of the Tetragrammaton in the Christian Greek scriptures. So get a, get a copy and use it. It is uh, an essential tool, I think, for effective dialogue with the witnesses who suffer from the delusion that somehow this Bible that they are advocating is being not only inspired by God, but preserved by God in this one very crucial aspect, the the taking out of the divine name, actually they negate all of their their good attempts to tell us that the the New Testament and the Old Testament are, are essentially reliable. So, Lynn Lundquist, just type in Lundquist, the Tetragrammaton in, and the Christian Greek scriptures. See you soon.